Added to the 2013 release of Excel, data models allow Excel users to link together or relate multiple tables for advanced analytical purposes, including serving as the data source for pivot tables. Using data models as the data source for pivot tables helps end users to overcome numerous issues. One of these is facilitating fiscal year reporting in pivot tables, and in this tip, you will learn how you can use data models to create fiscal year reports in pivot tables. Suppose you have a table of data containing transactional information similar to that currently pictured on the screen. Additionally, assume that you would like to build a pivot table that summarizes the approximately 11,500 rows of data in this table and that you need to group the data in your pivot table by fiscal quarters and fiscal years that begin on April 1st and end on March 31st. You could create a second table similar to the one that's currently shown on the screen that indicates the fiscal quarters and the fiscal years for each of the transactional dates currently pictured in column A. With these two tables in place, you can then build a pivot table from a data model and use the fiscal quarter and fiscal year fields pictured in the current table to group the transactional data together by fiscal reporting periods. To build such a pivot table, begin by clicking in either of the two tables. Then, from the Insert tab of the ribbon, click Pivot Table to open the Create Pivot Table dialog box. In the Create Pivot Table dialog box, check the box next to Add this data to the data model. Doing so causes Excel to add all tables in the current workbook to the Excel data model. Click OK. Upon doing so, Excel prevents the Pivot Table Fields list on the far right-hand side of the page. Clicking the All button on the Pivot Table Fields list shows that both tables, dates as well as transactions, are available to be incorporated into the Pivot Table. However, these tables have not yet been related together. Therefore, from the Pivot Table Tools Analyze tab, choose Relationships. This opens the Manage Relationships dialog box, and in this dialog box, click New. Now, in the Create Relationship dialog box, let's relate the two tables together. We would like, in this case, to relate the Transactions table to the Dates table based on the common field of date that exists in both tables. Click OK to establish the relationships between the two tables. Click Close to close the Manage Relationships dialog box. Now we are ready to build our pivot table. Let's begin the pivot table by adding the Fiscal Year field and the Fiscal Quarter field to the pivot table, placing both of those in the Columns quadrant. Next, from the Transactions table, Let's add Service Revenue into the Values quadrant, and let's add Industry as well as the Service Line into the Rows quadrant. And now you can see on screen that we have a pivot table that has been created from multiple tables with one of the tables providing to us the fiscal quarters and the fiscal years. Thus, our data is automatically grouped by the appropriate fiscal reporting periods. As you can see, constructing pivot tables from multiple tables is a relatively simple process by using the data model approach found in Excel 2013. Further, when you need to group data in your pivot tables by fiscal reporting periods, you can use data models to facilitate this process by adding a table to your data model that contains the definitions of the fiscal reporting periods. From there, of course, the process of building a pivot table that summarizes data by fiscal reporting periods is a quick and easy one. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.